Brian Gass here at PTPGun.com. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to field strip your Canik TP9 SFX. Now before we take apart any firearm, we wanna double check, make sure that the firearm is unloaded. So we're gonna go ahead, drop the magazine, set it to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and rack that slide to the rear, double check, make sure there's no round in the chamber, nor magazine inserted, and we're ready to proceed. Now with the TPX9, right, we're going to go ahead and send the slide back forward, and much like on the Glocks and similar to the Tauruses and maybe even the SDVEs of the Smith & Wessons, we're gonna take this tab, which actually is on both sides, it's square in shape, we're gonna pull that down, all right, and then we're gonna pull that trigger. All right, and you notice how the slide jolted forward, we're gonna be able to now pull that forward and off this frame. Now as far as we're gonna take apart the frame, so we're gonna set that to the side. We're gonna take the slide upside down, we're gonna take the spring and spring guide, we're gonna compress it just a little bit and pull it out and set it down of that slide. Now, we're gonna get that barrel, and we're gonna press that barrel up and out, take that out and set it to the side, and we have our slide. From here, you can do any type of cleaner maintenance you might need to do to your canning. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into the reassembly. Now, to reassemble this firearm, we're gonna go ahead and slide upside down, barrel upside down, drop the barrel into the slide. We're gonna take the spring and spring guide, and with this, we have a uh, smaller, I guess you'd say more pointed end, and we have a flat blunt end. Uh, the smaller, more pointed end is gonna get insert into the barrel, sorry, into the slide at the muzzle end. We're gonna compress that a little bit, it's gonna get caught in the bottom of that barrel lug. Now, we're gonna move on to introducing the frame. Now, the rail is on top of the frame, it starts from about a quarter of the way from the front. We're gonna insert that rail into the back of the slide, we're gonna keep it matched up, we're gonna pull it all the way back and let go. From there, we have now field stripped and reassembled our mechanic, but we are going to now move into doing a function check to make sure we put it back together properly and it's functioning the way it's supposed to. Pointing in the safe direction, we're gonna go ahead and pull the trigger and then let go. We're gonna pull that slide back and let go. And we're gonna repeat that one more time, pull the trigger, let go, pull the slide back and let go. Now we're gonna pull the trigger to the rear, we're gonna hold it to the rear, and while holding it to the rear, we're gonna pull the slide back, let go, and we're gonna slowly release the trigger until we hear and feel that click. Now we're gonna pull the trigger one more time to the rear, and we're gonna pull that slide back and let go. Releasing the trigger just until we hear and feel that click, finger back onto the frame, and now you have field stripped and reassembled your Canik as well as make sure that it's functioning the way it's supposed to. For more videos on how to field strip and reassemble your handgun, go ahead and go to our YouTube channel, ptpgun.com fire training. And subscribe as we have more videos coming out each and every Friday to help you learn how to field strip your gun. If there's any material videos on any material guns that you would like to see done, be sure to hit, those, uh, hit the comments below and let us know what you'd like to see next from PTP. Thank you all again, and also go to our website and check out our merchandise store where you can pick up shirts, hats, hoodies, decals, and even a few cups from time to time to support your local favorite gun channel, ptpgun.com, firearms training. Thank you all again, stay safe, and as always, train, defend, prevail.